Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is to answer some questions from some uh, viewers about the length of time that Windows 10 versions last because a lot of you install Windows 10, a specific version, and uh, wonder why uh, you're pushed to a new version, if you can wait or not. Um, and I talked about this in the past, but from time to time I think it's good to refresh. you got new viewers around. And one of the things that you got to understand is that for regular consumers, um, Windows 10 versions last 18 months. That's why they push you into other versions. So to give you an idea, if you are right now still on the April 2018 version, that was, uh, of course, released in April of last year, you're on your last two months. The last Windows updates will actually, for security, will be on uh, in November. So Microsoft is pushing to you the latest version, 1903, right now because of that reason. They want you to move on. And it's a little bit like Windows 7. We talked about you know the dangers of Windows 7 once the Windows updates for security are stop appearing on the machine. And of course, one of the things that uh, you got to understand is that as you move on to uh, a system that doesn't have Windows updates. That means that you are uh, getting really, really some uh, security problems because more and more security flaws will be in your system. So you have to move on to some version. Now in the questions, some say, well, do you have absolutely to move on to the latest version? No, you don't. You can move on if you're on the April 2018 you could technically install 8, uh, 1809, the October 2019 update, sorry. The problem is, is the way Microsoft does these updates, you got no choice but to take what they offer. You can't go and say, hey, I don't want 1903, I want to have 1809. It doesn't work like that. So, you know, that's why I kind of always say that you should have a bootable device that has, you know, a DVD or a USB thumb drive that has every version of Windows so that you can move on to the one you prefer and not the one that is being actually pushed at you because if you are not getting the latest update uh, well if you're not you know if, if, if you're about to expire you're getting always the latest update whether you like it or not and that of course is not necessarily what you want uh, and and Microsoft wants to kind of do a good thing here by having everybody move on to the latest versions but at the same time it's not necessarily always the best uh, thing that they do. So 18 months. The active versions, because that's another question, what are the official versions still active? So we are in September 2019. So the versions that are still active for consumers are 1803, the April 2019 update, 2018 update, sorry. I always mix 2018, 2019. And uh, the 1809, the October 2018 update, that one won't be forced to upgrade before early next year. And of course, if you're on the 1903 update, the May 2019 update, you are going to be okay until the end of next year. So that means you're safe for until, you know, at least October of next year before they're going to start pushing these things out on you again. So, um, or maybe before, because they push it a few months before. So, do your, you know, if it's an 18 month cycle, you'll probably be uh, pushed to a new version uh, every 15 months or so. But uh, still, you know, it's better than being pushed to every version all the time. Uh, another question people are saying, well, can I defer that pushed update and wait until 19H2? Well, since 19H2 is going to be very, very soon. What I would propose to most people that want that, why not uh, use the um, 35 days that you've got of Windows updates pause and then wait. 35 days will push you up to the end of October. By then, I would guess if everything goes well, 19H2 will be available. And if you do want to upgrade, that will be the version that will probably be proposed and if it's not well you can uh, as long as you know as soon as it's uh, released you will have the possibility to get that image probably with 19h2 on it 
That's also a question where people were asking, will there be an image of 19H2 since it's a cumulative update? Well, they're kind of treating it like a new version of Windows. So yeah, probably the uh, image for um, the um, you know media creation tool will be updated sometime in October with the latest version of Windows 10 uh, also. So that's pretty much the questions that I wanted to answer in this video. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.